What's up, YouTube? It's Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com, and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your audio interface to work with Studio One. So one of the first things you want to do is go to whatever website that you have for your interface. In this case, I have a Focusrite Scarlet interface. You might be using an Apollo interface or maybe even a PreSonus interface. You may need to download a driver or some software specific to that audio interface on your computer in order for it to work properly. So if that is the case, make sure that you go to the manufacturer's website find, download, and install that software. The next step is gonna be pretty simple. All you wanna do is go ahead and take whatever cables that were provided to you, in this case, a USB cable, right? And make sure that it's connected to the audio interface. I'm gonna just <laughs> try to do this backwards. So make sure that it's connected to your audio interface and then take the other end of that cable and go ahead and connect it to your computer. After that, you'll be ready to go ahead and launch Studio One. Once the opening screen of Studio One is, is already open, we wanna come right to this center section where it says setup. And if we click here, a preferences window will open and it should be already on the audio setup tab. If you're on a Mac, you will need to make sure that the audio interface that you have connected is uh, chosen as your playback device and your recording device. You can click the drop down menu to choose which device you want to be using, but just choose the appropriate audio interface. All right. If you're on a Windows, then you will just need to click that same area and choose whatever audio interface you are working with. That's pretty much it for this window. We can just go ahead and hit OK and move on to starting up a new session. So what we'll do now is hit create a new song here in Studio One. Always make sure that you give it a name. We'll just call this Wavy One for today. Um, we're not going to worry about these parameters. We'll cover those in a later video. But now that we have that, let's go ahead and hit OK to create a new blank song. Now that we have our first song project open in Studio One, we're going to want to make sure we configure a couple of settings. So go up to the song menu and then go down to song setup. And once that opens, go over to the audio IO setup tab. Here, you should see the audio interface that you have connected and all of the available inputs. And there's also an outputs tab where you can see all of the available outputs. On the inputs tab, very important since we're trying to get signal in here, what you want to do is make sure that there is a, a M on the tab wherever you have your, your microphone plugged into. So if you have your mic plugged into your audio interface, if it requires phantom power, plug it in wherever it is, right? Plug that mic in. And if it requires phantom power, go ahead and hit the phantom power uh, button on that audio interface. Um, Another thing that you can do if you don't have these sources here, you could hit add mono or add a stereo source if you need to add additional inputs and output paths. I can also remove them here. But in this case, we're just going to map this out to where I have a mono input on mic line one where I plug my microphone into and you got a separate input on mic line two. Another really key feature is to actually change the names of these inputs so that we always know what's coming in uh, to our audio interface. You can do this simply by double clicking and then changing it. So I'm gonna call this microphone. Cool. Once I have that set, I'm just gonna hit okay. And the next thing is we're gonna come over here to the right, to the left side of our Studio One uh, song project, right click, and we're gonna go to Add Audio Track Mono. Once that audio track comes up, you have the option to choose which input. In this case, I already named it Microphone, coming in from Mic Line One. Once that's selected, we can hit our Record Enable button here. We should see a signal as long as our microphone is connected and we have uh, the appropriate phantom power if needed, if you're using a condenser microphone. And then you can just go ahead, hit this record button to start recording. All right, child, that has been a quick look at how to set up your audio interface with Studio One. I've got more Studio One tutorials on the way. Y'all be dope.